Hello and welcome to Millwall Fan TV. This is your Gary Rauer reaction to Gary Rauer becoming the new Millwall manager. So let's talk a bit about Gary Rauer's history. So um, his first managerial job, I think, was Burton Albion. He um, did a good job there, managed him for about two years. And then um, I think he got into the playoffs, I think League Two, I think it was at the time. Then went to Birmingham, um, another club he played for, both Burton, Birmingham and Derby. Um, so Birmingham, he went to Birmingham, a uh, very low budget like us, kind of like the sort of budget we're on, and transformed them really into a very um, average championship team, 18th, 19th place every year, to challenge him for the playoffs. And I think one year they did get in the playoffs. So he's a very good manager with teams with low budgets. So, you know... Um, could be a could be a really solid appointment. Um, I, I'm not. I'm. I think then after that he went to Derby. If I, I think that's right, uh, he led them to the playoffs two seasons in a row, uh, finishing fifth. I think both seasons. Both seasons they weren't able to capitalise on their playoff. Um, they weren't able to capitalise on their playoff like positions, and they weren't able to go up to the Prem. But that's not really the point. The point is that they got to the playoffs. Um, I mean, look, really, I I'd be happy if we get to the, we get, you know, half that, if we get to the 8th, ninth, 10th, I'll be happy. That. That's a very good season, in my opinion. Um, but let's look at it like this. So he has taken the reins. Um, announced last night about 8 o'clock. Good um, a way of announcing it. I thought that, um, as you saw my pre-match prediction, I thought that we wouldn't appoint him last night. I waited till half six. I waited till as long as possible to see if we could um, appoint him. We did not until eight. So I put my video out, and as you saw, I put when Gary Rowett does get um, the job, I will do my re route reaction. Um, but obviously, it was a bit too late at the time, so I decided to do it this morning. Busy with a few things, so I did it with this. I uh, did it today, which I'm which is good. Um, but look, Gary Rowett does well on small jobs. Some people reckon that this Millwall is his dream job. I'm not sure, I don't know. But reading the interviews last night, watching the interviews with him, he said all the right things for me. Um, he said that he wants to improve the away form, which is it is massively needed if we're going to get into the top half of the table. Um, he also wants to be more flexible with the formations and the players, which I like that as well. Uh, but most importantly, he said that we, he loves our fas uh, passionate passionate fan base um so that's really good um he said he would like us i don't know if you read this this morning if anyone read this but he said he would like us to be starting to be in sort of a premier league mentality and he wants to uh, push us up to the playoffs and to, to promotion to the premier league now if he does that he'll be considered a legend <laughs> simple as um but my opinion what's what's my opinion I think it's a really good appointment. Really good appointment. Um, he's got bags of experience. Okay, I forgot to mention so He did fail at Stoke. He got he got sacked. But I think when he got sacked, they were still something like 11th, 12th, okay? And it just proves that he does better on uh, lower budgets. People will say that he, did, he didn't do very well at Stoke because he didn't play for the other teams he managed to play for. But in my opinion, it was because... Stoke wanted to get to the Premier League, back to the Premier League. That was their first season in the Championship. They wanted to get back to the Premier League, and they thought that that him being at the moment was he was they were twelve. They thought that that wasn't that wasn't good enough for them. So you know they wanted something new, which didn't really help. And okay, they they played well the last two games, but other than that, they haven't done much. And in my opinion, they probably should have kept Gary out. But that's not our, that's uh, as I say, their loss is someone else's gain. Um, and it's our game. We've got Gary Rowell now. Good manager, bags of experience. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Starting off with tonight against Cardiff. Uh, what's my pre-match prediction for that? He will not be in the dugout. I repeat, he will not be in the dugout tonight. He'll be in the stands. But I am guarantee he'll have something to do with it. He would have met the players. The players will be dry, will be driven on to play well tonight. They need, to, they need to show how good they are. You know? So, you know, we could see a really good middle performance tonight. Um, but on the other hand, they might try too hard. And we might see a very... Um, a very very inexperienced Mill performance. But we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully we get the win. Um but Gary Rao, good appointment I think. Um you know he's saying all the right things, doing all the right things. His first match will be at against Stoke at home on Saturday. So make sure to get down to the den for that one. 
Uh, my post-match analysis for Cardiff will be up tomorrow, hopefully, at uh, about 8-ish. And my pre-match prediction for Stoke will be up about th Thursday, about 8-ish. Uh, if you do want us to do a pre-match prediction for Stoke, then please send one in to me on my Instagram, which will be up on, and my Twitter, which will be up on after the video. Without further ado, Gary Rowett, please reform us. Comedy Lions.